new videotape cases of a police officer in Wisconsin, as we mentioned, shooting Jacob Blake. He survived, but he is paralyzed. Exploring the racial divide is hard work, but may be one key to our future. That's the purpose behind a new campaign called Together We Can. Joining me to talk about it is Rob Crane with Together We Can and Tosca Medlock Lee with Project Unity. Welcome to you both. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. Can you tell me uh, just a description of what this program is, what you're trying to accomplish? Sure. This program has got a mission statement of you know, to educate and to enable and to empower a lifestyle, a lifestyle of mindfulness and action against racism. And we take a, a little different approach than I think what people are used to hearing about, where we actually provide tools and make this an actual lifestyle people can live. So that we're not just thinking about race issues following horrific incidents like what's happened in Wisconsin, what happened to George Floyd. We're thinking about it daily and doing so in a more constructive and hopefully positive manner. So Tosca, in a real practical sense, what is this? These are conversations. What, what, uh, these are they're moderated conversations. How does this work? I know that this is something that um, you're, you're trying to bring around the country and around our community. So what happens when, when people get together and, and do they, they must be doing it virtually? Yeah, so in a real practical sense, um, and just first of all, on behalf of Project Unity, we send our thoughts and prayers to uh, the family of, of Jacob uh, in Wisconsin. But in a real practical sense, Project Unity has developed programs around community dialogue and uh, activities to increase the awareness of behaviors that can change as it relates to uh, individuals in their own sense in terms of how they view racism and reflective on the things that they do. So you know us as doing Together We Dines, we do Together We Learn and Together We Ball. So we have oh, since 2016 created these programs to help bridge the racial divide and bring our communities together. And so Together We Can is another one of those programs. And there are three things uh, that we are encouraging and inspiring people to do. One is to uh, participate in a dine. We've been doing these Together We Dines virtually. We have a goal of reaching a million people to have courageous conversations. And the other thing that we're asking individuals to do is that we have these bracelets, these silicon bracelets that's called Together We Can. They'll be available um, when we launch our website and have our virtual uh, event uh, coming up on tomorrow. But we want people to be able to uh, make a stand and say that we are going to live in unity and we're going to tackle this thing that's called racism and we're going to do our own work to ensure that we're doing uh, the things that we can do to make our community safer and to make it a better place for all of us to live in unity. Uh, you, you know, either one you can take this next question, but for white people, for us to see the privilege that we've had and how we uh, participate and perpetuate a system of racism in this country. Uh, that takes more than an hour uh, or, a, or a lunch time to do that. Um, how do you get people there? Absolutely, David. I mean, and you, you've hit it on the head. If African Americans and Americans of color in this country could have end racism on their own, they would have done it a long time ago. Um, and as you pointed out, silence enables racism. And those are two of our fun fundamental understandings in developing this program. So in addition to the two things that that uh, Tosca mentioned with our dine events and, and wearing a Together We Can uh, bracelet, such as the one I've got on as well, uh, the third thing is the most important thing, and that is we are going to provide monthly action items that help people look introspectively um, in their own blind spots as to their own implicit bias. Um, educate them as well as to issues of race in our country going back 200, 400 years, and then also provide monthly action items that they can do in a positive manner. So we're laying out a program that is systemic as to looking inside and acting outwardly as well to help people who have our skin color, my skin color, um, understand better what it's like to live in the shoes of people who don't have our skin color in America. Rob and Tosca, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Uh, valuable conversation, and I hope people can, can gain a lot from that. Thank you so much. For thank more information so on Together We Can and Project Unity, just text the word TOGETHER to 214-977-6028, and we will send you a link with all the information about the program you just heard about and how you can participate.